Very good morning to you, Valentina. Thanks for joining us. Right. Let's start Good with Inter Milan, shall we? Champions of Italy. They've got Real Madrid, Shakhtar Donetsk and FC Sheriff Tiraspol. Wow, in their yes. group. Uh, they've <laughs> lost Conte. They've lost Lukaku. Uh, what's the feeling there? How much are they equipped to challenge in this competition? Yes, well, they did lose Conte and they did lose Lukaku, but they did uh, put together a very strong and in some ways stronger uh, team or balanced team team than, the, than they had. And they're also more confident now after having uh, won the, the title in Italy last year. They got very good players like Jaco, like uh, Correa. They got uh, Chalanoglu to substitute um, Ericsson, of course. They have a very good uh, young player uh, called Di Marco, who scored uh, the other day against uh, Sampdoria. And uh, they are more confident, as I was saying. They're more mature. So even though they changed the uh, the manager, they could have a very good chance to do well in the Champions League. Yeah, Mark, let, let's get your thoughts on Inter Milan. I mean, if you're a fan looking at it, you think how disappointing to see them build up that title winning side and then it to be dismantled. But hearing Valentina, is there an idea actually they've almost been reborn once again then? Yeah, I mean, it's some doing, isn't it? I mean, you like, you lose the likes of Hakimi, uh, Lukaku, uh, and obviously your manager in Conte. I mean, that's that's a a pretty big rebuild, and I think uh, you know the, the the bar has been very raised very very high, particularly the way they performed last season, and and I think um, just goes to show the strength and depth, the ability, uh, the name of Inter Milan to be able to bring in top quality players as replacements. So uh, they're a side that have had a rich history in European football as well. So it's going to be uh, an inter interesting group again. Yep. Uh, Valentina, uh, let's, let's talk about Juventus. Um, and I'm looking here. Uh, what have we got? 29th of September, they come up against Chelsea. Uh, OK, uh, they, they've lost to Ajax, Lyon and Porto in the last three Champions League knockout stages. How do they correct that? Well, as you were saying, they lost in the knockout stages. So a different phase of, 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 the, of the tournament. And they did that with three different managers. Now, uh, Allegri is back, and just out of a coincidence, in, in 2014, when he start, was with Juventus, uh, he started his Champions League experience with Juventus, exactly with Malmo, against Malmo. He won, and then went on to reach uh, the final. So, there is some confidence there. OK, I, I like that. That's, that's going back in the record books. That's magnificent. Uh, let's talk about Chiesa, then. Is, is he going to be one of the stars of the tournament? He's injured for the first game. Yes, unfortunately, he's injured uh, for the first game, but he is a true star now in Italy. He became a true star after uh, his performance uh, at, the, at the Euros. And, um, you know, when I went to Turin for Ronaldo and I went to the Juventus store and asked if they were still printing out a lot of Ronaldo T-shirts, they said they would just be printing Chiesa T-shirts for the whole of the summer. So, uh, for sure, he is one of the most loved players in Italy at the moment and there's great hope for him also in the Champions League. Yeah. Mark, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, unable to deliver the Champions League uh, to Juventus, wasn't he? Um, but uh, is, is there a sense that this Juventus team, perhaps uh, Europe should be wary of them? I, I, absolutely. I mean, it's Juventus, isn't it? Um, with, with the likes of Chiesa in your side, um, I think you, you've got to be very, very wary of him. Uh, Dybala, if he's back fit, I think he's a top quality player as well. Um, so, yeah, Chiesa was exceptional at the Euros, as we all saw. Um, he showed signs of it last season at Juve. Are they going to be a better side without Cristiano Ronaldo? Some people would say they possibly will be. They'll be a more togetherness and, and, and a less reliant on one individual. So I think uh, it, it's, a, it's a, obviously a different era, um, a different side. And they haven't started that well in, in, in Serie A, uh, but the Champions League is the Champions League and they, they need to do well in it. Yeah, those head-to-head -head games against Chelsea could be pivotal in this one. Let's turn to AC Milan then, Valentina, back in the Champions League for the first time, would you believe, since 2014? Well, you would believe it because you know it. Uh, what can we expect from them? It's Liverpool first up. Well, there's a lot of history between uh, Liverpool and the AC Milan. And uh, for sure, the AC Milan supporters remember that very well. Terrible loss in the final 2005. They win in 2007 in Athens. And uh, today on the papers, there was an interesting interview from uh, Ricardo Cacá, one of the main uh, players of the team uh, in 2007. And he said that he believes that AC Milan is now 
stronger than Liverpool in many ways because it has a, a good mixture of experience players and young players and uh, that is the feeling too they're very hungry uh, to win they're very hungry to get back into the Champions League and do well yeah and Valentina Atalanta in with Manchester United young boys and Villarreal too they made the knockout stages of the last two Champions League what can we expect from them same again well, the Atalanta has been doing very well the past few years. They're a very compact team. They're, they're a young team. They will probably expect them to do well. And this match, this first day, match day, is lived by many already as the deciding match to decide who will be uh, number two in the, in, the group, uh, in the group. Because also Manchester United, of course, will, will do its best to win. Uh, Mark, where are we at for you with the, with the Italian football? You mentioned Inter Milan, uh, Juventus, you think of glory nights, yeah, AC Milan, you go back to Arrigo Sacchi and it, even back to those days, that wonderful pressing game that he did. Are, are they still at that level or can they achieve that level in the immediate future or are they still some way behind? Where are you at? Um, I think they're, they're emerging again. Um, I mean, AC Milan is an interesting one. Inter Milan, of course, we talked about earlier on as well about the fact that you know, being able to, to do it like a semi-rebuild after losing some key players, key, you know, the manager. Um, Juve is the one that, for me, is still a little bit of a concern. You know, uh, losing Ronaldo is always going to be tough, but Chiesa, Dybala, will they be good enough to, to lift uh, a Juve side? Um, will they get to the heights they did a couple of years ago? I don't think they're quite at that level as yet. OK, sadly, we've run out of time. Valentina, grazie. Uh, Mark, ab absolutely wonderful to have uh, your company for the last couple of hours.